everyone from Swingtown back again. Um, you've just finished watching one Ace Rock video on their new P67 motherboards. What we've got here is the P67 Transformer. Now, um, what Chris is going to tell us about this board and what's special about it, it's all about the CPU. This is a P67 motherboard, but there's something special here. So let's, uh, let's transfer over to Chris now and he'll give us the rundown on this motherboard. Hi, this is Chris from Ace Rock Marketing. And today I'm going to show you a very exciting thing on the SROC P67 series mainboards. The model name is P67 Transformer. Okay, as you can see on the movie for the Transformer, it's kind of like, you know, the robot and can transform something. Okay, we name it P67 Transformer. It is because it is based on the P67 chipset, but it is equipped with SOC 1156. So that is, um, you know, the limb field CPU support on the P67 chipset. That is really cool. Maybe you guys may ask why we do this kind of, um, you know, implementation. It is because for the P, uh, for the limb field socket 1156 CPU, it is usually supported on the, you know, the P55 chipset. But for the P55 chipset, it is actually, you know, the PCIe Gen 1 only. So users may sacrifice for the, you know, SAR 3 or USB 3 performance. So we're thinking about one solution for these kind of users. We put the socket 1156 on the PC7 chipset main boards, so users can enjoy the you know PC full, like full Gen performance. Two. Exactly that you guys won't you know suffer the performance drop because it can provide PC Gen 2 bandwidth for the SATA 3 and USB 3, and both performance comparing to you know P55 it boosts a lot. It's actually you know provide you know, sufficient bandwidth for the SATA 3 and USB 3 because normally the PCI Express, uh, I mean the visual slot is connected to, to the CPU so it is usually the Gen 2, okay, even even on P55. So the, the benefits here will come with mostly with storage over uh, SATA 3 and USB, USB 3, USB yeah. 3.0. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And um, with this motherboard, how many uh, USB 3 slots are there total? This one is on, uh, provides uh, two USB 3 here, yeah. Two USB three ports here, and uh, but the performance is you know almost equal to the P67 native chipset with uh, you know the the SOC 1155 CPU. Yeah. Okay, now um, is there a, when when will people be able to buy this motherboard? And do you know is there a rough uh, cost for the for the board? Um, the the the, uh, the price is the retail price is not you know available and not confirmed yet, but. Um, I think that should be coming soon, maybe around the beginning of um, December. Yeah, and um, so I guess it's important to note here because this is a 1156 socket, um, and it, but it is a P67 motherboard, of course. Um, when when Intel's upcoming CPU does come out, they will not be able to use uh, that CPU on this motherboard. Yeah, that's but, something important to remember. Yeah, exactly. But um, what we are thinking about is to provide a user an upgrade motherboard because some users may have their own, you know, 1156 CPU before, and when they want to buy, enjoy the P67 chipset, they don't need to buy another new mainboard. Just use it on the, you know, with their existing CPUs. Okay, uh, on P67 transformer, it not only has, you know, the special CPU support feature. And this one for the software part, it can also support the UEFI and also the XTU. I mean, the only one software on the Windows. Okay, and by the way, on P67 Transformer, it actually has some limitation because of the architecture. Okay, for P67 Transformer, it only supports a limb field CPU on the Windows 7. So, when when you guys are trying to buy this mainboard, you have to notice about this. This one is also the world's fastest memory. It provides unbelievable DDR3 memory Chris, performance. I here. noticed you, you just covered up the uh, sticker here. It did yeah. say DDR3. I mean, we won't tell people what it said, exactly. but obviously you guys, uh, you guys have done some testing here in Taipei, yep. and uh, you really think this motherboard should be able to reach some very high um, DDR clock speeds, right? Exactly, because um, DDR on um, P67 chipset main boards, normally even other motherboard manufacturers uh, for the average speed, maybe they can only reach around 20, 2200 around, okay? But on this main board, we reach an unbelievable DDR3 performance. And why I stick the uh, one sticker here to, to hidden it? Because 
from now on, we will have a you know a puzzle game on S Rock Facebook, and uh, you guys can in, can join this kind of game to guess how fast the DDR3 memory can run okay. up to. The stick is this there, room, but you guys you guys have to have to guess um, the speed that you think this motherboard can achieve. Now, Chris, if if you know people watching now on YouTube. Uh, and on Tweak Town, how how can they um, join this competition? Is it live now or? Uh, it, it will be it will it will be live maybe today today late or tomorrow, and um, you guys just just write down what what you guess on Ezra Facebook. Just leave a message. How fast it can be on Ezra okay. PC? So all they all they have to do is just leave a message on your your Facebook page. Exactly. And yeah. then they are entered into the competition. Exactly. And uh, after one week, we're planning to announce the the, the answer uh, on December third. Okay, we will announce the, the the correct answer here. And you, the, the 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 you know the guy who who guess who provide correct answer and he can win the prize. One free P67 transformer. Okay, there you go, Tweak Town readers. Uh, good luck to you. Um, now this has been uh, Chris talking about the um, P67 transformer, and Cameron for Tweak Town, and uh, we will see you again soon.